Welcome to day seven of your descriptive statistics unit. For today's lesson, you are going to be needing something to write with as well as your calculator. Today, we're going to be doing a lot of work in the graphing calculators. All right, so for today's goal of the day, given a set of data, you will be able to use your calculator to find the standard deviation and explain what the value means. So today, we're actually calculating the standard deviation of a set of data, and we're going to explain exactly what that standard deviation means. All right, so let's go ahead and take a look at our note sheet for today. Okay, we're going to start by just going through a little bit of vocabulary. So deviation, this is the term that we actually talked about during yesterday's lesson. So let's go ahead and review that. So deviation is the spread or variance of our data. So de deviation is the spread or variance of the data. So standard deviation is a measure for how far away the data is from the mean. So is it really going to be really far above the mean or really far below the mean? But standard deviation is a measure for how far away the data is from the mean. So if we have a low standard deviation, that means your data is very close to the mean. Remember, the symbol for that is X with a bar on top. And a high standard deviation is when the data is very far away from the mean. That means it's very far away to both extreme, it both extremes. It's very high and very low, above and below. All right, so here's where we're gonna get into the new part for today's lesson. So your calculator directions. To find the standard deviation on a calculator, we're once again gonna be using that stat button, that statistics button. First, we have to put in the list, so we're gonna hit edit and type it into your L1. Then you're going to be going to stat. You use your over arrow so that way you're highlighting that word calculate. And then one variable stats is your very first choice. Okay, so let's go through and let's try this with two sets of data. So below are two lists of data. Now if you take a look at both of these lists, they look very different from one another. So let's go through now and let's actually find the standard deviation of them. Okay, so the first thing we're going to do is go stat, edit, which is one. We're going to clear out any lists that might already be in our calculator. And now we're going to type in the first list. 28, enter. 29, enter. 30, enter. 31, enter. And 32, enter. Now we hit stat, calculate, and then one variable statistics. We hit enter. Go down to calculate. And here we go. Our mean is... 30. In our standard deviation, now we're going to use the sample standard deviation, which is going to be the capital S with an X next to it. So if we look, that's going to be the fourth term down. Now on your note sheet, I know it's missing on mine, but you should be rounding to the nearest tenth. Those are your directions. So here we're going to go ahead and we're going to round to 1.6. All right, now let's take a look at our second set of data. So now we're gonna go ahead, once again, we're gonna put this into our list. So we go edit, we clear out our list. Okay, and now we type in 10, enter 20, 30, 40, and 50. Stat, calculate, one variable stats. And we see our mean value is 30 in our standard deviation. Again, we're gonna to round to the nearest tenth. We have 15.8. All right, so let's take a look at these values here. So do these data sets have the same mean value? Well, they both have a mean value of 30. Yes, X bar equals 30. So if they have the same mean, does that mean they're the same sets of data? Well, if you could take a look, these are very different sets of data, so they are not the same sets of data. So what does the standard deviation tell us about these two data sets? Well, this first standard deviation is 1.6. The second standard deviation is 15.8. Now look at how close together all your data is in the first set. Now look how far away it is. It goes from 10 to 50. Here it's from 28 to 32. So the larger the range, okay, the larger the standard deviation. 
the smaller the range, the smaller the standard deviation. So what does standard deviation tell us about the data? Okay. Okay, a small standard deviation means the data is close to 30, which is your mean value. All the data is very close to 30. A large standard deviation means data is far away from 30. If I take a look up at that, the data goes from 10 all the way to 50. All right, so now that we've done this once, let's go ahead and let's try it a few more times. So let's take a look now at our second data set. So here we have a set of eight men and their heights below are measured in inches. So using your statistical software on your calculator, find the mean and standard deviation round to the nearest tenth. So let's go ahead and let's try that out. All right, so we're going to go to Stat, Edit. Now, I already put all of the numbers in my calculator, so you can go ahead and hit pause now, put these into your list. Okay, now we're going to go to Stat, Calculate, One Variable Stat. So we hit Enter. Now, we round to the nearest tenth. We're going to get 68 point, well, that 9, 7, that 7's going to round that 9 up. So really, we're going to get 69.0. And the standard deviation, so I go down to my S, and that's going to be 1.6. Okay, so here's my follow-up question. How many people are within one standard deviation of the mean? So let's go ahead. Well, our mean value is 69. So if I look in my list of numbers, now they're in chronological order from smallest to greatest. 69 would be right here. So this is going to be my X bar. So I want to know how many people are within one standard deviation. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to calculate how far above and below would be one standard deviation. So I'm going to go ahead and off to the side, I'm going to go 69 minus 1.6. And then I'm going to go 69 plus 1.6. And that's going to be my range for one standard deviation above and below. So 69 minus 1.6, and we're going to get 67.4, and then we do 69 plus 1.6, and we're going to get 70.6. So that means my range for one standard deviation is going to go all the way up to 70.6, which is going to go right here. So this is going to be one standard deviation above, and then one standard deviation below is 67.4, which is going to go right here one standard deviation. So how many people are within one standard deviation? Well, that's going to be all of this. So that's one, two, three, and four. So four people are within one standard deviation of the mean. Okay, let's try this one more time. This time we're going to work with our, our female or our women's heights. Okay, so once again, we're going to go ahead and put these into our calculator. I already have them in my calculator. So once again, we go stat, edit, put them all in your list. Then we're going to go stat over to calculate and enter for one variable stats. Now, oh, my note sheet's incorrect. So we're going to round to the nearest tenth. I believe that's what's on your worksheet. So let's go ahead and take a look. So our mean value here is going to be 63.7 with a standard deviation of 5.7. Okay, so now how many people are within one standard deviation of the mean? Well, my mean value is 63.7, so here's my mean, my X bar. So now I'm going to go ahead, I'm going to add and subtract the standard deviation. So 63.7 plus 5.7 and 63.7 minus 5.7. Let's go ahead and calculate that out. 63.7 plus 5.7. And we get 69.4. And now I'm going to subtract. So 63.7 minus 5.7. And we get 58. So let's go ahead now and see where that is 
with our list. So 69.4 is gonna go right here. So here's one standard deviation above the mean and one standard deviation below the mean would go right here. So one standard deviation below. So if I look, anyone in between here is it within one standard deviation. So I look, that's one, two, three, four, five. So there are actually five people within one standard deviation of the mean. So our last question down here at the bottom, who has the greater standard deviation, the men or the women, and what does this mean? Well, if I look at the men, their standard deviation was 1.6. The women, it was 5.7. That means the women, oops, the women had a greater standard deviation, which means their heights are more spread out. All right, ladies and gentlemen, our goal for today was given a set of data, you will be able to use your calculator to find the standard deviation and explain what the value means. All right, hopefully we've accomplished that goal for today. Have a great one. See you tomorrow.